Good morning, folks. We've got an update on the solar eruptions, more big quakes, and probably more to come. We'll chuckle at astronomy and get a signal of Earth's weakening magnetic field. Starting with our star, we'll watch at half our normal viewing speed so you can see the beauty of the eruptive action on the north. The sunspot group moving across the central portion of the north has been sputtering plasma, although thankfully a good bit of it remained in the corona or rained back down towards the surface. We did get more flaring activity from them, but again, the higher peak just barely cracked into M-class range. We can see the plasma activity much more in the 304 angstrom view, with the early morning activity from yesterday occurring in rapid succession and then last night's larger surge as well. The good news is that again, much was contained within the corona, and there are only faint CME signatures. The Enlil spiral does indicate at least one of the faint plasma clouds is heading at Earth, unlikely to cause more than just auroras and some minor geomagnetic disruptions. The sunspots responsible for this uptick are now heading towards the limb. From there, it will be more challenging for them to fire a CME at Earth, but more likely for them to use the interplanetary magnetic fields to send high-energy particles along the flux tubes within the sun's current sheet. Right now, the solar wind is elevated a bit due to the coronal hole stream, but at only minor levels, moderate plasma speed, leaving geomagnetic conditions relatively quiet for now. We are also watching the southern hemisphere as the large dark snake-like plasma filament has eruptive potential and would produce a sizable CME if it releases. Moving on to quakes, another seven-pointer in this region, luckily very deep and offshore. But speaking of deep, three notable blood echoes struck the southern half of the Americas and indicate that larger activity may be coming across the ocean soon. We've seen that Oceania to Americas pattern several times in the past. Let's go next to our first article, where the astronomers tell us, oops, it's not just black holes that fire gamma bursts. No kidding. Even a solar flare can make gamma rays, and they've known that for a while. For those veteran observers who have heard us say that they interpret everything as a black hole incorrectly, this is one of the reasons. Much of astronomy has been stuck in that gamma mode now, which is debunked. Sidestep to cosmology, I love how they take complete failures and turn them into happy, boastful articles about dark matter. Folks, whether they say narrowing the range or found a new limit, these are code for we didn't find anything we were actually looking for. Still no sign of dark matter. Lastly, we're going to need to roll up our sleeves for this one. The North Atlantic jet is way stronger than they say it should be, and it is shattering climate models. The observational reality isn't represented by any single simulation in any of the climate models, and it's not even close. Now they say this must mean they either underestimated the human pollution effect, no, or there is a stronger natural cycle and that second guess is pretty close. The jet streams are largely driven by heat differential between the lower and higher latitudes. Since there is much more warming at the polar region, this should be reducing the jet power because there is a reduced heat differential, a point they often miss. And veteran observers may recall from our videos and from our books that the solar forcing matters too. Weak sun, weak jet, strong sun, strong jet. So with less temperature differential and lower solar activity the last few decades, doesn't that mean the jets should be weakening? Why are they so strong? The answer is Earth's weakening magnetic field. The sun may not be as active as it was 30 years ago, 50 years ago, but our weaker magnetic field is allowing more of that forcing to get in. The Earth's magnetic shift is to a greater degree than the change in solar activity. This is the explanation for that ultra-strong jet that's crushing climate models, and it is just another in a long line of evidence of Earth changes tied to Earth's magnetic pole shift. We greatly appreciate your support. Look below the video in the description box for many more ways to explore this material and those topics. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.